Springs, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is God's Big Promise. Abraham is called by God. Let's read. <laughs> we have to update. Actually, I have turned the language into Korean now. I have again changed the language, so we have to update. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have gone to activity. Abraham lived in Haram. Abraham got said, I want you to live Haram and go to another land. God didn't tell Abraham where that was. Trust me, God said. So God... One day, Abraham was living in Haram. But it was very comfortable and they were all good. Nothing was bad. But like one day God said to Abraham to leave Haran and go somewhere else. Abraham could not understand. And God said to obey God. Trust him. Do this, God said, and your children will become a great nation. How? asked Abraham, wondered. Abraham wondered. His wife Sarah was too old to have a children. Trust me, God said. So Abraham was surprised because God said he will have a great nation. But he didn't have any children, and also Sarah was too old to have a child. Children. But God is saying that he will have a great nation. Question: Did God tell Abraham where he was to, where he was to go? Yes. Oh no, God didn't tell him, and just God said to love Haran. Go where I tell you, God said, and I will have more distance than three. Oh, then there are stars in the sky. They will bless the whole world. Trust me. So God said to go somewhere else that God has told him to go and also God has promised him mm. also God said Abraham will have more the stands than the stars because the Sarah was too old to have a baby and God is saying his distance will be more than the stars and also God told him that it will be a great nation so Abraham trusts God he took Sarah and his nephew Lot and everything they own he went where God told him to go he went to the land of Canaan. So, Abraham trusts God and obey God. So, they have all gone to the place that God has told them. Land of Canaan. So you can see all of the things you're taking. We have found the battle done. Shall of faith. Question. 
God said Abraham would have more descendants than they are stars. When he arrived, Abraham camped at, at Shechem. God appeared to him, and I will give this land to you and your children. God said, Abraham built an altar to God there. So God. When they arrived. They camped it and God appeared that he will give this land to his child and him, him and his child and also so Abraham was thankful to God so he built an altar he's building an altar Oh, oh, he lies down and like half of the mess. Oh, no. oh. We have found the Bible down. David feels God and from King Saul. Why every time Sarah is making a soup? Abraham traveled around God's promised land. He was glad that he had trust God. So he built an altar to say thank you for God uh, to God for all he had been promised. So he have traveled the world and it is so perfect world. God's promised land and God promised God for all he had been promised. God has promised this land for them. And a great nation. So Abraham was so thankful, so he have also again build an altar to God. Question Abraham built an altar to God to say thank you for all he had been promised. True? Yes, today I read the Bible story because I enjoyed and next time I'll read another good story. Now let's see you next time. Bye!